Hey guys, what's up? Another vlog here. This one, um, you know, I gotta be honest, it, it's it been a little slow lately in wrestling, or entertainment, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it, but, um, for this one, I decided, sorry about the view, my laptop's, like, literally right on my lap, as opposed to where I usually put it on the live, but anyway, um, in this one, I decided, why not just talk about TNA, and I know I've said this in the past on here, and I'm sure I'll probably say it more, but I don't watch TNA, so I don't really judge TNA, you know, and that whatever they want to do, they can do. I mean, I, I have obviously can't tell them what to do, but I'm saying more importantly, not too much news TNA-wise would ever really be on here, but I think this story really, I think I kind of need to adjust this because I think it's smart by TNA what they're going to do. Now, this has been posted for a few days and you know, I just now got around to making a video so um, I'm going to read you guys a little uh, uh, TNA tidbit I guess. Um, okay, you know what? That's the wrong article. I'll just say it off the top of my head. Anyway, TNA will now be known um, this might be a potential spoiler, so, I'd, like I said, I don't watch TNA, so they could have already done it, I don't know, but TNA has officially changed their name to Impact Wrestling, and they're no longer going to be called TNA. It should be taking place within, I believe, like a week or so, and a lot of people are saying that they're doing this in response with WWE's whole new entertainment movement, and that WWE wants to be referred to as an entertainment company and not wrestling, which I think is smart. I think it's smart on TNA's part as well for not wanting to be associated with WWE in a way, and that they want to be just wrestling. So I understand both sides of the coin. Um, WWE is at a stage to where they, they basically need to expand, and that they're rich enough as it is, but if they want to be any more richer, you know, want to distinguish themselves from TNA, Ring of Honor, or any other uh, wrestling company out there, they need to expand into an entertainment company, and that's what they're doing. They're doing a very, very uh, methodical way of doing it, and that they have a huge list of how, what they want done and how they're going to do it. They're going to tackle everything. Great job by WWE. They're launching their own cable network station. They are basically going to sort of, not like redevelop, but just develop their characters more differently and bring them up to different audiences. And TNA is going to be the total opposite of that. TNA is going to be the, basically the company who's like, okay, well, they want to be entertainment, that's fine, but we're in the wrestling business, so we're going to be known as wrestlers. And thus the cha name change to Impact Wrestling. IW, I guess. That just sounds weird. But, um, so I, I do agree with why TNA is doing it. I think it's smart business on their part. However, you know, the more and more I think about it, the more and more it kind of dawns on me that it is smart. However, they do kind of lose a demographic that WWE picks up on. Because now TNA is only catering to the wrestling audience, which in a lot of ways is a very small percentage of fans and there are a bunch of wrestling fans and but there are more entertainment fans than there are wrestling fans and that whenever you turn on WWE they had a music concert by Pitbull the other night on Raw you know they had celebrities from you know, George Lopez um, some of the Rock's Fast Five uh, co-workers or whatever you want to call them you know they had they did all these different things to really just grab a hold of different audiences. And I think when it comes to that, WWE is really branding themselves and repackaging themselves as something completely different. And that's what they need to do at this stage of the game to, to attract a new audience, attract a younger audience. And in the long run, it's really going to be successful for them, I think. And, um, you know, but then again, like I said, I think that although I don't, I'm not 100% sure if I agree with it, but I do see why TNA is going to be referred to as Impact Wrestling. And that now they're catering to the wrestling audience, their core demographic, which is fine. There's nothing against it at all. 
but I'm saying after a while, it, they're going to need to figure out a way to really expand. And I think WWE was at that same stage that TNA's at right now, to where they focus purely on wrestling. WWE did that back in the day. Now it's TNA's turn. So, who knows, hopefully that Impact Wrestling will be for the better, and so is WWE's new rebranding as an entertainment company. And one last thing, I think a lot of people see it as, you know, they're very skeptical, and that they don't have all of the key details in front of them. And that's why a lot of people are like, oh, why are you dis distancing yourself away from wrestling? They're not. They're expanding, if anything. And you have to look at it from a business side. And see, this is, I've kind of always thought about this. This is kind of where a lot of wrestling fans think that they're getting the, sh the short end of the stick when WWE pulls moves like this, saying that we don't want to be called wrestling, we want to be called entertainment. And that the fans will suddenly blast them for doing that. That's a common reaction, to, and it's understandable. But I think that you have to look at it from a business side first, and that they're doing this as a business move, and not a move that they necessarily want to do, but I think it's a move that they realize that they really have to do. And by all accounts, I think it will, wor it will work for them, whether if it's next year the cable network gets launched, or whether if it's in 10 years the cable network gets launched. Point is, is that they're still gathering more than just the wrestling fans, and that's what they need to do, and I'm glad that they're doing it. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the debut of Karma, and the fact that a lot of you guys in TNA, or Impact Wrestling, know her as Awesome Kong, or Amazing Kong, and she just recently debuted for WWE as Karma. Now, I was on WWE's website earlier, and it looked like she is a part of Raw, but at the same time, I didn't. I don't know if her profile was listed as a SmackDown entertainer, but um, <laughs> you know, there's been reports that WWE will not be considering her a diva. Um, let me see if I can pull that up here. Yeah. Hold on, just one second here. Sorry about that. I probably should have had this loaded, but the new female to WWE TV Karma has been added to the WWE Raw page, like I said. The interesting thing is in that is she is not listed as a WWE diva. And I think that I think that's good because I'm gonna be honest, and I'm not trying to cut down on Karma whatsoever, but she does not have the physique as any other diva out there. I'm going to be honest, I don't think any kind of female entertainer, wrestler, whatever you want to call them, has not looked like her, and has definitely not had the wrestling ability as she has. You know, no one. Um, there's There's been a lot of great, great female divas with ability levels that are, are sky high, but I think that Karma, due to her size, is probably the most powerful woman to ever enter the WWE. And I think that if you're not calling her diva, that branches her out and it's going to make her look like she's so dominant. Maybe we'll even see the very first female WWE woman, WWE champion. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, but I think that would be way different. The fans would not agree with it, but I think it would, it would be it'd be something to see. I really do. But um all right, so thanks for watching and uh follow me on Twitter and subscribe to me or whatever you guys do on YouTube and I'll see you next time.